Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today, we're talking about how to manage bipolar disorder. I have schizoaffective disorder bipolar type, but before that I was diagnosed with bipolar 1. Managing bipolar is hard because there are so many different elements involved and they're moving, they're changing, everything's up and down. It's quite hard to manage bipolar disorder, so anyone who manages to cope with bipolar disorder, my hat goes off to you, if I was wearing a hat. So I just wanted to share some an advice that are things that have helped me. And yeah, with that in mind, let's get on with the video. First, we're gonna start off with mania and what helps. Getting enough sleep, even if that means going on sleeping tablets temporarily. You need to figure out how much sleep you need. For me, I sleep around 12 hours a night. I go to bed, I take my medication at seven and I'm asleep by nine which some might say is early but i sleep for 12 hours so it kind of needs to be like that the next thing on my list is life changes can cause manic episodes so if you've got a big life event coming up like moving house having a baby getting married anything big in your life can trigger a manic episode being under a large amount of stress can also trigger a manic episode so yes every life can cause stress a tip from me would be to prioritize what you need to do that day work out overall a little tip i have here is to make lists next my next bit of advice for mania is have a good support system having a person that knows the signs and symptoms of mania in you having someone who can keep an eye on you now i struggle more with depression side of Bipolar, I don't really struggle with mania that much. To be honest with you guys, I don't have much insight into mania when I'm manic because I'm too busy living the high life. And the thing to remember is it's always easier to intervene early. Now a little bit on depression. Didn't you go into a depression after you've experienced the manic episode? However, it is possible to just go into a depressive episode just because you feel depressed. And that's what happens to me. I struggle with the depression side of things a lot more and I have done for a long time another bit of advice I have is keep up with self-care as much as you can even though it's hard showering having a bath brushing your teeth skincare brushing your hair another idea if you're depressed and you want and you want to try and recover quickly is to go online on Instagram, Pinterest, Google and search things to do when I'm depressed. And I promise you something will come up. Honestly, depression is so much harder to treat than, than mania, but that doesn't mean it, there isn't hope. Stay safe, stay sober, stay strong. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.